Facing one's fear is one of the challenging things to do in life. If it weren't so, most of us would have achieved our dreams and all our goals so easily. However, if only we understood that our fears aren't real, but imaginations that we have formed in our heads that make us rule out the possibility of attempting something, then maybe it'd be easier for us to battle it one step at a time. The good news is that no one is born with fears. It's something that we allow into our minds as a result of some of our experiences and those of others. Our instinct to things that we can't predict the outcome is fear. Thankfully, we can unlearn our fears by practicing self-discipline repeatedly with regard to fear until it goes away. Whether it is fear of the unknown, fear of failure, poverty and loss of money or any other kind of fear, you can face it with courage, subdue it and overcome it. How, you ask? Well, in this video, I'll share with you three ways to face your fears with courage. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. Identify the things you fear and make a list. The only way to deal with your fears is to address it head on. You can't live in denial and expect to overcome your fears. So, to begin with, start by identifying and making a list of other things that scare you so much. When you know them and acknowledge them, it becomes easy to take the necessary actions required to face these fears. When you identify the things that you fear and discipline yourself to move towards it, it grows smaller and more manageable. As this happens, your courage increases and your fear loses grip of you because you've become courageous enough to take over the wheel instead of letting that fear control you. So, take out time to think about all the situations, people and life goals that make you scared. Awareness is the first step to overcoming any challenge. On the other hand, when you live in denial of these fears, it will dominate your thoughts and feelings, preoccupy you during the day, keep you awake at night, and eventually result in anxiety, stress, unhappiness, and psychosomatic illness. Forcing yourself to identify and face any fear-inducing situation in your life increases your self-esteem and your sense of personal pride in return. Jim Morrison, an American singer and songwriter, said, Expose yourself to your deepest fear. After that, fear has no power and the fear of freedom shrinks and vanishes. You are free. Think of it this way. The fact that I am aware of my thoughts mean that there is a thinker in there. Many people unwittingly believe, if I think fearful thoughts, they must be true. Remember, fear is only an illusion in the mind of the thinker. So, if you don't identify what your fears are and prepare to take actions to face them, you will always be at the mercy of your emotions. And we all know how inconsistent human emotions can be. 2. Decide to take more control of your fears. Now that you've identified your fears, good job. Let's deal with them already. Nelson Mandela once said, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. To deal with your fears, you have to decide to take over from it. Be in charge of your life. You need to understand that fear isn't a brick wall that's out to stop you from moving forward but an opportunity to gain new insights that can help on your way up. It's a forward-moving alert. It's a call to action that advises you to avoid what is harmful and opt for an affirmative action instead. So, to do that, all you have to do is prepare yourself, gain insight and garner information that can help you take the affirmative action required to move you forward. That's how to take charge of your life. Start by doing something that you are afraid of every day Take inspired actions despite your fears. Maybe it will help to see fear as a signal, drawing your attention to something within that needs to be addressed. So, your response to it gives a glimpse into your psyche. Are you always running away from it or facing it head on? When you start taking small steps daily that can help you deal with your fears, sooner than later, you'll become confident enough to face your fears and deal with them. However, to take control of your life and face your fears, you need to be informed. So, if you need to read more about what scares you the most, talk to people about it or any other action that can help you address it. Then, by all means, go right ahead. 3. Think positively and use positive affirmations. Have you ever heard about the law of replacement? Well, the law states that you can't replace something with nothing. You have to replace it with something else. If you want to stop being afraid and get rid of negative thoughts, then you have to replace those thoughts with positive ones. Otherwise, the negative thoughts will keep coming back. For instance, say you want to become the best food blogger in your country. You have to be able to identify thoughts like this. What if people don't like my cooking? 
That's a negative kind of thinking. Instead, think about the possibility of people loving how you cook. Not only should you think positively, but also use positive affirmation to activate your mindset. Affirmations are powerful statements that describe the reality you want to create. When you practice your daily affirmation, you force your mind to accept the new reality that you are creating for it. When your mind finally gets it, it prompts you to take more action and become more aware of resources that will help you achieve your goal. To live a purposeful and remarkable life, you must be ready to face your fears. Otherwise, you may never step out of your comfort zone. When you don't, you won't achieve anything extraordinary or spectacular in life. So, learn to start facing your fears by following these tips. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.